If you need to build a road here in Philippines on your property, then this video is for you. Good morning one and all from Cebu. Today I'm gonna show you a small project I've just started. It's very early morning. It is very early. It's 6.30 and it's sunny today. It was cloudy yesterday and the day before, but finally we have some sun coming. And I decided I wanted to test something. I have a rough road, a rough road, and it's about a few hundred meters uh, up here. And because of this rough road, my tires on the car have had a small puncture maybe once, maybe twice, a few times actually. So I've had to change the tires. So in the background you can see the, the ro road we are dealing with. And if you're looking down here, let's look at this stone. So these are the stones that you will find all over Cebu. And my, this stone is not so tough, but some of the stones, Let's find one particular. Oh, let's look at this one. So this one, here you see what's the problem. So if you drive over a road like this, this sharp edge will usually puncture the side wheel of your wheel and then you have a flat tire. The flat tire on my car costs about 6,000 to 7,000 peso. And I've lost a few. So it was time to see what I could do to fix this or remedy it. I could get a better tire. I chose to do something more permanent. So by me, you, you see the road that we marked for the beginning of the project. It's about 10 meters that we put up um, this uh, metal frame and uh, marked the sides. We're waiting for the bus, cement and sand today and then we're gonna use the cement mixer and make some good cement. I will show you again later today or maybe early tomorrow and we'll see how far our road project has come. So here, so behind this road, that's where you find our house. Let's just continue. Look at this beautiful. Look at these beautiful flowers. Very nice. Nice flowers on the road. Turn again. Now in the distance you might see the, the house. Uh, when we built the house many years ago, we used a road from a different side but that road was closed for us when the neighbor got envious. So instead we opted to buy this road. Uh, this part of it, we actually bought this land just to make the road, nothing else. We had no interest in the rest of the land around here. So as I stand here, you have the house behind those coconut that I planted. And to my left here, you have a thicket of bamboo. And then you have some flat fields to your right and left. And also one mango trees that fallen down. And for those of you who are into birds, this is also a good place to uh, to look for tickling. So it comes here with his chicks sometimes 
it has a nest, usually one or two nests over on this side. So the tickling is there. For those who don't know what a tickling is, I will put a, a name in the description below. And you can search and find it out. Or maybe if I'm really lucky, I will put it on. Uh, I will be able to capture it on film. So that was part of my road. It's not all the way because my house will be is back here. So the entrance to the parking area is located on the other side head. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's now day three. We have been building this road now for two days. Uh, it has been some rain, so we wasn't able to um, build through the whole day. But hopefully today we will take off the side uh, walls and finish the sides, finish the ending, and also start packing everything away. As you can see, the project is going along and we have just about one, I will say one and a half meter of the road remaining, maybe a little bit more, and then the whole first part of the project is finished. So things to consider if you're building a road like this. First, the budget, of course, the length of the road. What are you going to use it for? Is it going to be heavy traffic or just light traffic? This is my private road, so it's just me um, and maybe one or two other trucks, uh, cars coming in and out of this area. We do, uh, it will be a few small dump trucks uh, because we harvest the coconut. So that will be a consideration and we have reinforced it with uh, metal the road. Another thing to consider is the length of the road. This road is a few hundred meters so that will cost a few money. Also one more thing the sand and gravel they used here. Make sure if you can that uh, it's taken from a legal source. Very often they use uh, riverbeds here illegally so try to avoid that. Uh, if not, you, you will cause erosion and uh, maybe flooding and devastation later. Apart from that, you take your time. Most of, for me, nothing is in a hurry. I can spend a few years building this road or maybe just a, a year or a few months. Anyway, this was the beginning of my road. I will show you the end project in a few more days. Until then, See you. Five days have gone by and the road project is now come to an end. I was able to build 20 meters of road. It cost me under 20,000 peso, included labor cost and material. It is reinforced with uh, concrete and metal. And now it's just need to dry another five days and then I can take it for a first try with a car. If you like this video, then please remember to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. Until next time, see you soon.